Hello everyone, I'm Tara, the Dance Doctor. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching four universal dance concepts that we use in almost all of the dances that we do. So we're talking salsa, bachata, swing, tango, mambo, waltz, foxtrot. All of the dances that I teach on this channel and that you dance with a partner, these four concepts will come in to those dances in some way, shape, or form. So it's really important to learn them because it will speed up the learning process and it will give you some context for what you're doing uh, when you're learning a piece of choreography or a new step. So at the end of this video, I'm also going to be teaching a bachata shine, including all four concepts, and then I'll demonstrate how to use that shine also in salsa and in swing so you can really see how versatile these concepts are. Because this is a longer video, I'm going to put the timestamps for each one of the concepts and the shine in the description box below so that you can kind of jump around as you would like to. Before we get into the lesson, I just want to remind you to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and turn the post notifications on so that you can see when I upload more content like this. Now let's get dancing. So the first step that I'm going to be teaching you today is called a pas de bourre, also known as a sailor shuffle, also known, I'm sure, as a lot of other names that I am not familiar with. And of all the steps that I'm going to be teaching today, it is the most versatile. In my almost 30 years of dance experience, I have not yet encountered a dance style that doesn't utilize this step in some way. So it's a really good one to know, no matter what style of dance you're learning, because it will come into it at some point. And by learning it, you're setting a foundation for yourself to be successful, to be able to apply it to different timings. So the step looks like this. Bam, ba, -dum, bam, ba, -dum, bam, ba, -dum, bam, ba -dum. And we can apply that, like I said, to a lot of different styles. So I'm first gonna teach the step, and then we'll talk about the various timings that we can use and the different styles. So I'm going to first cross one foot behind, uncross, and then step underneath my shoulder. Cross, uncross, step. Cross, uncross, step. Cross, uncross, step. As you can see, when I'm crossing initially, I'm only putting the ball of my foot on the ground because usually uh, when we dance this, it's a syncopated, beat, which means it's going to be pretty fast. We don't have time to put our entire foot on the ground and change our weight entirely. So I'm going ball, 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 heel. Ball, 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 heel. Ball, 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 heel. And then even if I'm doing it super fast and staying low in my knees, I'm still going to apply that footwork um, as I do it. So again, Cross with the ball. Ball, ball, heel. Ball, 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 heel. Ball, 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 heel. Ball, 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 heel. So that's the step. When I'm applying this step to swing, I'm going to use the same trajectory of movement that I would use in a triple step, and the timing will be one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two, just like a normal triple step. Same thing if I'm doing salsa, but you'll see when I do it in the salsa application, I'm going to move my body and my legs a lot differently. So that looks like one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, one and two, three and four, six, seven and eight. So as you can see now, I'm not using my swing bounds, and I have added in my salsa torso movement, and I'm staying a little bit more grounded in the legs. There are also places where we can go one, two, three, or four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. I would use this maybe in tango or paso doble, or you can also use it in salsa. If the one and two, three and four is too fast for you, you could go one, two, three, or four, five, six, seven, all day. Three, five, six, seven. If we're using it in 
bachata. One, two, three, tap. Six, seven, tap. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Those are just a few examples of where we use this. There are several. We use it all the time. So, like I said, it's a really good step to know and to continue to practice because it will come up at some point in your learning journey. Okay, so the second step we're going to learn today is a kickball change. This is another step that we use in a lot of dances. We use it in swing, in salsa, in bachata, in cha-cha-cha. Uh, it's one that dancers use a lot for choreography and shines. And the ball change action on its own is also an action that we use a lot in the Afro-Cuban styles. So it's a really important action to know how to do well. So I'll demonstrate it first and then I'll teach it. So it looks like this. Kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. And of course we can do that action on either foot and we will. So the first thing that we want to know is when I say kick, I'm not referring to a whole leg movement coming from the hip. Just like the sailor shuffle, this is often syncopated and very fast, so we don't have time to do a really large movement. So when I say kick, I mean just moving the foot forward from the knee. Nothing else in my body is moving. Just from the knee, I kick forward, and then I'm gonna bring it back, and put it down, just the ball of the foot. So I go kick, ball, and then I'm gonna change. And when I change, I really want to emphasize the change. I really wanna put my weight on that foot, and in most contexts, we're going to bend our knee a little bit when we do that change. So again, I go kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. And now at this moment, I'm doing it kicking forward, ball back, and change forward, but we're also going to look at how we can apply it going in different directions. Okay, so now I'll do it away from the camera. So what we're going to do is go kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, step. And now we'll do it with the left. Kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, step. Again, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, step. One more time, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, step. Now we can also, like I said, do the kicking in different directions. So I could kick to the side. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Step. Other side. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Step. Or I could go back. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Step. Kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, step. So it's super versatile, this step. We can go in a lot of different directions. We can do it slowly or we can do it fast. So usually when we use it in a swing context or a salsa context, we're going one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Yeah? One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Depending on the style, you'll either add a bounce to it if you're doing swing or stay low if you're doing salsa. But either way, we're using this step in a lot of different contexts. I could also do a halftime. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Depending on where I want to put the emphasis in my body in the music. As I said at the beginning of this lesson, I can also just use the ball change. So that's like the kachan movement in, in the Cuban rumba, in Guaranco. So we could go ball change, step, ball change, step. Just taking out the kick 
and this is one of our Afro-Cuban movements. So like I said, super versatile step and one that you should definitely be practicing. So the third movement that we're going to learn today is a step tap or a tap step. Um, so this is super, super simple and very useful. And it might sound like it's too simple, but a lot of people don't understand the difference between tapping and stepping and how to use uh, one or the other, first a tap and then a step, or first a step and then a tap. So I'm gonna give us some ways to do that. So step tap, um, what I'm thinking of is either stepping in place and tapping, step tap, we can also use this moving forward and we can use it moving backward. So because of its simplicity, this step is also extremely versatile. I can't think of a single dance that I've done that doesn't use some variation on a step tap or a tap step, just applying this concept to the rhythm that you're dancing. So now if we're looking at a tap step, tap step, tap, this could be mambo, this is Cuban mambo, just tap step, tap step. You can also use it tap step, tap step. This would be like a swing application, yeah? We could also use that in mambo as well as, as, well as a variety of other dances. Um, so what I want to practice is we're going to first do step, tap, step, tap, then move back, step, tap, step, tap. Again, forward, tap, and back, tap, back, tap. So if we're using this in salsa, we could go one, two, three, five, six, seven. You can add arms. Two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. Whatever you want. The beautiful thing about simple steps is you can add a lot of your own personal style onto them because you don't have to think a lot about what your feet are doing. You could also use it in foxtrot or swing, yeah, with a slightly different flair to it, but it's a wonderfully versatile step. Tap step, like I said, that's our mambo, yeah? Or we could use it in swing. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, yeah? So I'm giving you some tools to be able to internalize music into your body. All of these steps are different ways to use simple movements and rhythms and really start to use that to help you express yourself in your dancing. And also, when you're being taught something, you'll be a little bit more familiar with the concepts because you'll already have been introduced to them. is a jazz square, also known as a box step. Again, it probably has a lot of other names that I'm not familiar with. And it's a very simple step that just takes four counts. But again, it's something that we use in a myriad of dances. So it's a really good one to be familiar with. So I'll demonstrate it first, and then I'll teach it pacing away. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. And again, that can take on a lot of different personalities based on which dance we're doing. So, and again, just like the kickball change, I can do this step on either foot. I'm going to start it on my right. So I'm going to go forward, cross, back, side. And when I say side, I'm not going further open than shoulder width apart. And again, forward, cross, back, side, forward, cross, back, side, and other side. Now we'll go forward with the left. Forward, cross, back, side, forward, cross, back, side. So like I said, I could use this in swing. Boom, 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 boom. I could go low. Boom, 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 boom. I can use it in salsa. Ba, 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 ba. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one. Three, five, seven. You could be more feminine. You could be more grounded and masculine. Like I said, it's really user's choice. 
which is why learning these dance fundamentals that are universal, it's really helpful because like I said earlier, it helps you develop your own dancing personality and you can apply it to these basic things. So now I'm gonna teach you just a little bachata shine, including all four of these steps that I've taught today. And then after I teach the shine and we practice it, I'm just gonna include little clips of me doing this same routine, but with swing music and also with salsa music, so you can really get an idea of how versatile these steps are. Okay, so the shine that we're gonna do looks like this. One, two, three, I start with my basic, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do my Prada of Array. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. I'm gonna do my kickball change turning. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Step, tap, three, four, five and six and seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap on eight, and I'm ready to go into my basic. So now I'll do it facing way so that you can follow along. So we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, sailor shuffle. One and two, three and four, five and six, cake ball change. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, tap, and tap, and tap, and tap, step on the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, tap, eight, and I'm ready to go into my basic. Let's do the whole thing one more time. Here we go. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven, keep all change, and one, turning to the right. Two, three, four, step, tap. One, two, three, four, five and six and seven and eight. Box step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Tap on eight, and I'm ready to go back into my basic. Now let's try it with music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 